Hey, old bag! I need some of your heating fungi for our spaceship. Otherwise, we don't have enough energy. What do you want? He wants our heating fungi. You can't allow that. Well, you can't have our heating fungi. We'd freeze to death. You can't possibly want that to happen. I need the heating fungi for a propulsion system for a spaceship. We all need to make sacrifices for our freedom. Why not you? You're absolutely correct, young sorcerer. Sacrifices have to be made. But you'll only get our heating fungi if you find us an appropriate replacement. Well, okay, that's a deal. I'll get you a replacement heater and you'll deliver the heating fungi directly to the inventor's hut. The deal's sealed. You can go on sleeping now. I'll be going now. Hot and greasy. Well, at least one of the two. Calm down, Simon. You'd still have your other hand to hold your remote control. I hope I don't spill any, like that one time in the sperm bank. Ta-da! Here they are, the first mechanical heating mushrooms of Talpaville. May their lifespan be endless. If you could now send your shipment to the inventor as promised. Huh? What is it? The delivery of heating fungi is here. And look how they glow with heat. Well done, young sorcerer. This concludes our transaction. May your flight be as peaceful as our twilight years. I'll be going now. The alien's beam weapons are... Ah, Simon the Sorcerer, what can I do for you? I found a substance with an energy level of 100. Shiver me timbers, very good. Hand it over. Those moles will bring it to you shortly. Very good. With the help of the coal oven, we can extract highly energetic gas out of this substance. Let me see to that, kiddo. Just let me see to that. I'm just finished with the remodeling. Let's go outside. I'll show you everything. A short while later. We are gathered here today to celebrate a historical event. The Logbook. Stardate 25412, Captain's Log. This is going to be the first journey of the Black Pair into space. And I, Captain Narrow, am action ready and full of get up and go to take this first step. If you go on babbling, you'll have no time to put on your winter makeup, so let's go already! Oh dear, you're such a spoiled sport. But okay, let's get going. For a toast, here being tasty.
tasty soup. Mmm. That smells of the sea, of salt, of salient adventures. Just the right thing for this great moment. Yes, take a hearty spoonful. I can highly recommend the swampling soup. No, be careful. Mmm. Oh. Somewhat dry aftertaste. <laughs> Womp soupy, not spicy enough. Oh no. Is that captain dead? Not really. He looks as if he wished he was, though, and I don't think we'll be able to fix him up too soon either. That sludge must have been especially toxic this time. Swampy, what do you think you're doing? Now we're one crew member down and can't helm the ship anymore. The magic world is lost. Because of you. I having one and only best for a crew. And dead fish I take for making swamp soup so nicely gloating the dark. <laughs> That's enough, Simon. You don't always need to work off your inferiority complex on those weaker than you. As captainess, I hereby order that the swampling will come with us, so the crew is complete again. This imitation pirate, Captain Narrow, can stay. But... But nothing. I won't tolerate discussion of my orders as captainess of this ship. Understood. The lemons are partying in Cancun. Don't tell me you want to join us as well. No, we are not that soup. Uh, no, we are not coming with you. We, uh, we have things to do here. We've got to warn you. It seems the aliens have noticed the launch preparations and are on their way here. Oh no, it's too late. No! Move! Hurry! We'll delay them. Come on, there's no time for bathing, Swampy. We've got to get on board. Simon wants me to come with him. The cheeseburger is over salted. The waiters are cleaning the tables. Geronimo! Just now, we're receiving a message from the Royal... Captain's Log. Stardate 12345.6.78. We're in orbit above the magic world and have set course for the Eye of Death. Our ship, the USS Black Pear, is ready to... The Black pear -is. I demand that in all official documents like this logbook, the correct female spelling of the ship's name is used. But in German, a pair is called Birne, and Die Birne is a feminine noun. Don't think you can hide your sexism behind foreign languages. The spelling is Black Paris, just as is exactly documented in the Handbook for Creating Feminist Structures on Board of Space Vessels. Handbook for what? The Handbook for Creating Feminist Structures on Board of Space Vessels, which I myself have written. And now I'll continue fighting the oppression on board of this ship. Before that, there can be no normal service. And besides, I'm the captainess. You'll find me in my cabin number two. Who's number two? Come back at once, you... Otherwise... Otherwise... Uh, uh, You'll see what happens otherwise. Oh, Captain, boss. Oh, that screaming isn't good for me at all. I'd better lie down somewhere. Return to your station, sailor. Wolf, 
Wolf? Uh, Swampy, you won't let me down, right? Because we need every single man to steer the ship. I, of course, helping, friend Simon. Well, at least one... Swampy will help according to Swampling customs. We both will cooking for deckhand friends and captain friend most deliciously swamp soup. Ow! In those sci-fi flicks, it's always so much easier. How on earth can I get the crew back to their stations? Usually I just take bones with properly seasoned meat on them. A golden chalice that would make any king proud. That looks cool and it isn't secured in any way. I'll take it. That's the wolf's control console. That's the station of that little brat, Red Riding Hood. That's Swampy Station. A bucket full of ice cold water. If I take the Swampling's beloved cooking utensils just like that, he'll cry again, and that's really irritating. I can mop somebody with this. That thing's seen better days. The more old junk there is in my hat, the better. Who knows what this could come in handy for? I'll take it. Come to me, my little bloodthirsty friends. Into the flask with the water? If I still had my awesome telescope finger, that wouldn't be a problem at all. As it is, though, I can't reach it. Cool, it looks like the logo of my favorite soccer team. I'll take it. If I take the Swampling's beloved cooking utensils just like that, he'll cry again, and that's really irritating. An old barrel. It's not worth opening.
I'll take it just in case I've got to screw. Uh, nail. Uh, whatever. Soon. Hey, Swampy! Good to see, friend Simon! I need you at the bridge at once! You've got to postpone your soup cooking for another day! But friend Simon, soup good for spirit and soul, and crew that needing now most... Most? My foot! Forget your mush and come with me to the bridge! Simon again not being nice! Simon being very stressed! I knowing, so I must cooking swamp soup to restore balancing of soul. Unluckily, I'm missing a bony ingredient. Without, I can't finishing soup. Balance my soul with that poison? You're nuts. Well, I'll cook your goose. Just you wait. Green and not just Look, I've got a bone for you. Simon sure having had great effort for bone, but it not being good. Hey, Swampy! Good to see, friend Simon! My deckhands have left the bridge. Do you have any idea how I can get them back on duty? Simon just needing to wait until I finish soup. Then everybody being happy again and working on bridge! My goodness! He really wants to feed us that stuff. I have to prevent this tragedy. Could you lend me your cooking glove? I not can give you both gloves for cooking, but one I can't sparing. Here, take friend Simon. See you later.